Factor analysis extracts underlying dimensions from the data and answers the question, what indicators have in common? Sometimes factor analysis nevertheless doesn't give you the solution that you expect and then you have to uh, understand why that would happen. To do so, you have to understand what exactly the factor analysis is doing. And in this video I will provide a conceptual explanation of exploratory factor analysis. The idea of, of factor analysis is that there are different variance components in, their data, in the data. Typically there is a, if we have a measurement occasion, there is variance caused by the construct. So we have indicators A1, A2 and A3 that are um, supposedly valid measures of construct A. And we have B1, B2 and B3 that are supposedly valid measures of construct B. Then uh, each indicator also has this random noise, unreliability and some unique aspects. So if these are survey questions, uh, then the survey questions measure uh, the construct. They could measure something else and then there's unreliability. In factor analysis, we uh, uh, add a latent, one or more latent variables to this model. So these are observed variables and we try to explain the correlation between the observed variables by using a smaller number of latent variables. For example, we add one factor here that we, we think explains the intercorrelations between these items. And uh, there were two strategies, uh, factor uh, exploratory analysis where we allow the computer to specify the factors and confirmatory analysis where we specify the factor structure ourselves. The factor analysis model also, it's a statistical model. So it's a, a set of equations and uh, here is the model. So uh, we are saying that all these uh, indicators uh, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3 are function of the factor times factor loading for which we use the Greek letter lambda plus some error that we don't observe. So it's a regression equation basically. The only difference is uh, that we only observe the dependent variable, we don't observe a key independent variable. So this is a latent variable. If it was observed variable, then we could just uh, regress all indicators on the factor, but we can't because the factor is not observed. So these were the fact loadings and these were the item uniqueness. It's important to note that factor analysis cannot separate unreliability from some other unique variance. So if the A1 indicator has some unique aspect Q, then uh, you cannot separate it from unreliability. And that's uh, basically with any reliability statistic this applies. So if your indicators have variation that is unique from other indicators but still reliable, so it's not random noise, it's some variation, then it cannot be, it cannot be uh, distinguished from reliability. We assume that all variance that can be explained by the other items, all unique variance is unreliability. So that's the workaround for that limitation. So we had exploratory analysis and confrontatory analysis. The idea of exploratory factor analysis is that the computer first gives, uh, tries to explain the data with one factor. So it estimates one factor model, one factor explains all correlations between the indicators. Then we uh, eliminate the variance explained by that factor from the data and then we fit the same single factor model again on the residual variance. And we repeat this until there is no more covariance between the indicators to explain. So what does the process look like? Um, we have the data here. So we have this A variance here due to A construct, B variance due to B construct and we want to know how much of the variation of these indicators are due to the A construct and the B construct. We first uh, fit a single factor model and let's say that this single factor now picks up all the A variance. So all the A variance goes to the factor and the remaining uh, variance will go to the error term. So we, we take apart the variation in the observed variables. We assign some to the factors and some to the error terms. And this model doesn't fit really well because these errors are assumed to be uncorrelated. But we can see here that because this error term takes the B variance and this as well, they are actually correlated. So the factor analysis wouldn't stop here because it, there is uh, evidence that there is still correlations after this factor. So we take the A, A variance, we put it aside here. And then we, uh, from the remaining data, we uh, 
with another factor it picks up the B variance here and uh, the B variance here and then uh, the remaining indicators here are uncorrelated in which case the factor analysis stops. So that's how factor analysis works. We pick up some variation then we continue with the remaining we pick up some variation until all the remaining indicators are uncorrelated in which case uh, the factor analysis said I have discovered two factors these two factors explain the, the intercorrelation with the variables completely. The remaining variation in the data are simply uh, unique features of these indicators or unreliability. So that's the conceptual idea. We extract variation, then we uh, do it over and over until there's no more covariances to extract.